kind of just tell us what happened. Uh, we were actually playing ball right over here, and Nathan climbed up on here and stood, and so did my daughter. And I told them both, that's not safe, you need to get down. So my daughter automatically gets down, and my son decides to be stubborn. And right when I tell him to get down, he was standing right here, and he lost his footing and fell back. And I was proximately by the telephone pole. So it just... happened, and I watched him go down. So what, what's going through your mind, like, wow, that's happening? What are you... Like... I really just wanted to jump in, but I knew that wasn't feasible because then I would really be stuck. So I called anybody I could call. I didn't have service out here. So I was frantic. My daughter was frantic. Um, finally got a hold of my friend, and she called 911, and then I went down. I put both my feet across here, and then I put my arms down, and I just lowered myself down to this top pipe. And if you look, there's a black hose mm -hmm. that goes down, and I just slid down that, that hose to him. Oh my God. And yeah. you said when you were up here, one of the things you were telling me, one of the reasons you wanted to go, because you saw, you could even see a pair of blood. I mean, it's not it's dark down there, but what did you see when you saw him down there? Well, when I looked down, I, t I automatically told him, just swim, swim as fast as you can. He said, I can't. I said, well, grab a hold of something to hold on to until I can get to you. And right when he was grabbing a hold of something, you know, I'm watching him the whole time, and I, I could see blood all over his, his head and the back of his neck. And my automatic thought was, he's going to go unconscious any second and not be able to hold on. So I just had to go down there and be with him and make sure he was okay. And then, and then uh, soon after, people showed up, right? Uh -huh. yeah. So what kind of happened after you guys were down there for probably what, like? Uh, I'd say about an hour we were down there. Yeah. What were you saying? What were you doing when you were down there? Um, you trying to, to keep be honest, calm? my two most fears is drowning and claustrophobic. But at the same time, I knew my son had to be calmed down. So I just focused on keeping him calm and telling him to breathe. And he kept saying, Mom, just tell me it's a dream. And I couldn't. That was really hard. But So then, uh, I mean, going down there, I know that's just probably intuition, but that's scary. Like, I didn't even think about it. I just thought that, you know, I want to be with my son, and I want to be with him, so. That's good, Jill. Yeah. Um, so then, then, the, then people started showing up, the, mm -hmm. what, the sheriff's office, and then a wrecker, and then, yeah. so kind of, what happened from there? I guess from your perspective underneath, uh, what was um, Really, all I remember is I would look up, and I would see, I saw heads all around the well, just looking down, giving me instructions to not look up, and, and just to hang tight until they could get down. And then they, they, I keep saying that they got you some vests and brought... Yeah, they gave us life vests first, and then um, the guy that was down there strapped in my son, and they set my son up with another individual, and then I came up with them, all on a pulley rope system. What was it like when you finally got up here? I was worried about my son. I automatically went to the ambulance. I didn't pay attention to anybody or anything that was going on, really. And now... A day later, how are you feeling? It still doesn't feel real. It doesn't. I mean, I know it happened, but it just feels like a movie. Is it kind of weird to have these on your... On your oh, that was my first fear when I moved in, was that my kids would... Something would happen with my kids. And now they're taking care of this. Yeah. What are you grateful for right now? To be alive. For my son. God was looking after us and did that. He only came out with a laceration in the back of his head. Isn't so. that amazing? Three stories? 